So you want to grow your fashion brand, make more profits and use social media marketing. My question to you is have you considered Pinterest marketing? If not, then you definitely should. It's actually my favorite way for growing a fashion brand for free. So I'm going to tell you more about it in this video. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Vicky, founder of The Fashion Business Coach, the platform that helps small and startup fashion brands to launch and scale successfully. You're watching one of my free weekly videos, so if you haven't subscribed or followed along yet, make sure you do so that you can see our new video to help you overcome fashion industry barriers and launch successfully. Uh, the new videos are out each and every Tuesday. So in today's video, I want to cover Pinterest marketing because so many people ask me about marketing their fashion brand and particularly Instagram marketing. And I have nothing against Instagram. I use it myself, I enjoy it, I think it's a really great place to be social and I love connecting with you guys on there. But it's not my favorite when it comes to building a brand, getting customers and generating cash. And that's what the fashion business is all about, right? Getting customers and actually being able to pay ourselves as a business owner. Pinterest has always been my favorite. It's the way that I've launched my own fashion brand. It's the way that I've helped other customers that I've worked with one-on-one. -on -one. And honestly, I just wish more people asked me about Pinterest marketing. So I'm gonna make this video today to explain to you why I love it so much and why I think that it's definitely worth considering. Even though I know it's not something that seems popular at the moment, um, but it definitely works. So I really want you to be able to, you know, take a piece of the, um, of the Pinterest pie, so to speak, and take advantage of it. So first things first, the main reason that I love Pinterest is because of buyer intent. What do I mean by that? Well, think about it this way. You probably use Instagram yourself socially or Facebook or some kind of platform like that. And think about what you are thinking when you go onto those platforms. You're probably thinking, oh, I wanna post a photo. I wanna check in on my friends and see how they're doing. Or I'm bored maybe and I just wanna scroll aimlessly. No judgment here. The thing is, in none of those scenarios are you thinking, hmm, I wanna buy a new fashion product and wanna discover a new fashion brand to buy from. That doesn't usually enter people's heads. People are usually going to Instagram to be social. You know, it's called social media, as the name suggests, people use it to be social. Pinterest, on the other hand, is more of a visual search engine. I prefer to think of it as that. And the thing is, more people go to Pinterest with the intent of discovering a new product or discovering a new brand or getting ideas or getting inspired. They're not usually, or you know, there's not really the functionality there where people can actually connect with people and have a discussion and comment and all that sort of thing. I mean, there's some functionality that allows it, but it's not something that people actually use it for. They usually go to get ideas, to create their own kind of inspiration, mood board things, um, and they go there to discover. And that's why for me as a fashion brand, I've always put Pinterest first because yes, I can you know, get a few followers on Instagram, but when I look at like for like followers on Instagram and Pinterest, I've always made a lot more cash from Pinterest because on Instagram, people are often kind of passively liking, whereas on Pinterest, they tend to actually click through, subscribe, buy something. So for me, it's always been much more powerful in terms of generating revenue. And I do believe that's down to the initial intent why people go to the platform in the first place. On Pinterest, people go to discover. The other thing is um, along similar lines, because Pinterest is like a visual search engine, people use the search function. And I know you can search for hashtags and things in Instagram, but it's not so specific. You know, people can go to um, Pinterest and search like, wedding like custom wedding accessories i know they do that because that's one of the businesses that i've had and that's how people found me and um, so i'd market my stuff for free on pinterest I, I didn't pay for ads at that point and people would find me that way and it worked a treat and so many people were you know putting their time and effort into facebook and instagram that i was kind of the only one at that time i've actually been using pinterest for marketing since 2011 which makes me feel super old that i've had business for that long so buyer intent is a super important thing and also the fact that it's like a search engine also really important. Kind of the secondary reasons that I love Pinterest is because the content lasts so much longer. 
you're probably aware on um, Instagram, for instance, if you post something, it kind of dies within 24 hours or so. Maybe with a reel, you can get a week out of it. Um, but pretty much, as soon as you've posted that and it's kind of been around for a few hours, you're not usually gonna be getting new people find you through that. Sure, if someone finds your profile somewhere else, like in another way, that post is still gonna be there until you delete it. It doesn't, you know, it's not like a, a story where it just vanishes after 24 hours, but your posts that are only really gonna be discoverable for a very short space of time. They're only gonna be generating new customers or new potential customers for a very short space of time. On the flip side, however, my most popular pins are some of my oldest pins because over time they grow in popularity. So it has this kind of snowballing effect over time and I love that because you know you put so much time and effort into creating great content and then for it to just be kind of dead within 24 hours on other platforms, it kind of sucks. So being able to see like things that I spent a long time ago, uh, a long time on two years ago or more, getting so much traction now, it's really, really amazing. And obviously when you build your profile, you get more people following you, repinning you, it just grows and grows and grows organically. In fact, I'm kind of bad sometimes and don't practice what I preach and don't have time to be um, doing things on Pinterest all the time. I might not touch my account for one or two months and I'll still be generating traffic for free every single month. I actually only recently started using Pinterest ads and it's something that I'm only dabbling in. I Most of my con content is generating free traffic. I do very little with paid ads. Um, and in fact, I managed to get up to you know 300,000 active monthly viewers. So 300,000 people a month were discovering my brand without having any paid traffic whatsoever. And I was probably spending two hours a month on Pinterest marketing because unlike other channels, you don't have to actually comment back. You know, there's not a commenting thing or a liking system or anything like that. You don't have to keep up to date with that. So I'll just schedule my pins, away I go and just leave it. And that's what I really love about it because it's, you know, if you're time poor, it's perfect and it creates so much traffic uh, when done correctly, it really outperforms any other platform that I've used. So that's my little introduction into Pinterest. Um, if you wanna know more about it, I'm gonna to link to some free content below that explains a bit more about Pinterest. And just to let you know, because I know I'm gushing about it as though someone's paid me to say this, I haven't, I just love it so much. And I thought, you know what? People are always asking me about Instagram, but I'm gonna throw this out there finally um, and really explain why I love Pinterest marketing. Uh, so not sponsored in any way, just really like the platform. And to be honest, I mostly use it for free anyway, um, without any paid ads or anything. So I'd love for it to work for you guys as well. And I know for clients that I've worked with one-on-one -on, -one on this, they've had really good success with it. So I'd love that to be the same for you. If you would like to work on it one-on-one, -on -one, I'll also link my contact details below so we can chat about how um, you might go about it and use it as your marketing strategy as well. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.